Welcome to World of Monsters, I'm Monster Master Arthur, and this is Tabletop Monsters. Yes, this includes monsters from all sorts of tabletop games, including role-playing games such as D&D, war games, as well as card games. Welcome to this first episode of the series, where today we will be discussing The Fimmer. The Fimmer comes as a creation of Brian Ansell, who was managing director of Games Workshop at the time. Games Workshop or GW well known for Warhammer and the classic dungeon crawler board game known as HeroQuest. And here you have the original Fimmer prototype. Isn't it a beaut? So first let's get into the Fimmer physiology and abilities. Among the Fimmer types such as the Mir, also known as Witch Hags, Dirach, Fim Nobles, Shirol, Fianna Fim, the Warrior Elite, Daemon Possessed Demonomaniacs, or whatever other undiscovered subspecies or class adaptation, there exists the classic, or better known, Fimmer Warrior, or more technically, the Fim Warrior. They hold key Fimmer features such as the green to brown toned skin and cycloptic single eye. This is the Fimmer we will be discussing today. So let's begin. Fim Warrior Physiology. The V-shaped muzzle lined with crocodilian-like teeth, that single eye, and that long round tail. These three key features which make the Fimmer particularly ugly from the human point of view are indeed iconic to the entire Fimmer race. Though tails may vary within the race, Fim warriors have evolved a bony clubbed or what may become a spiked tip as an extra offensive limb. As common among their race, Fim warriors have three fingers and a thumb as well as three toes and sometimes are depicted with simple ear holes similar to those of lizards. They are heavily muscled and lean and bear colors from green to brown and the surrounding extremes of those tones. Fim warriors can live to about 200 years, feeding on various vegetation as well as mushrooms and animals that they hunt. And of course, they are also found plundering human food. Now let's explore their abilities. Fimmers do indeed have their own language, which they call Fimar. And parts within this language have been found to be of demon dialect. Fim warriors live to fight, and sometimes they are magically possessed to increase their strength and skill. They are brute warriors. Among its powerful body, the intimidating mace-like tail is lined with hard bone ridges that serve as extra armor and power to this natural weapon. Fim warriors use a variety of weapons, single-handed, two-handed, as well as exercising, dual wielding within battle. Though shields seem rarely carried, a single cultural armor plate is commonly seen covering the abdomen. Yet this is more often so with the Fim nobles rather than the Fim warriors. Various armor is worn though to limited amounts, as Fim warrior do indeed appreciate a good range of and for motion. They are fast and will use teeth and claw if need be to win, and have rather large hands and feet that can prove difficult to deal with. Finally, to enhance their familiar battlegrounds, they create a thick mist that slows down and confuses intruders and gives the Fim a nice upper hand. All in all, in comparison to humans, Fim warrior battle affecting attributes include being cold blooded, having equal to scaly skin, being swamp striders meaning having better movements on swamps and similar types of terrain, and of course the tail attack. Also, the fogs can be endowed with choking and killing abilities. Well, that sounds all powerful and dandy, but what about the weaknesses? Well, here immediate attention comes to that single eye. So here within returns the strategy of the mist, because Fimmers do not have depth perception, and so they much more prefer combat within their thick fogs. Also, being the somewhat hunched over bulky beast that they are, Fim Warrior do not have high intelligence. Now let's take a look at the Fim Warrior stats. Starting predominantly with Warhammer. Movement, 4. Weapon skill, 4. Ballistic skill, 2. Strength, 4. Toughness, 4. Wounds, only 1. Initiative, 
two, attacks one, and leadership seven. Now let's take a brief moment to look at the hero quest stats as well. I mean, why not? Movement squares, six. Attack dice, three. Defend dice, three. Body points, two. And mind points, three. As you can see, Fim Warriors are quite formidable foe. Singly, they may not be able to take down a dragon, but in a good sized group, it'd be possible. And now we shall delve into the history and life of the Fim Warrior. Fimmer are of the northern old world and a sea of claws. They are the rare boogeyman of ancient tales to frighten children. Today I'll briefly cover the history of the Fimmer race itself, as this may be the only Fimmer video that will ever be recorded on this channel, although I really hope it won't be. So not only are the Fimmer created myths beneficial to their defense and hunting, but Fimmer also share a strong hatred of sunlight. Their crudely built stone strongholds nearly sit on moor and marshlands, from which they raid human settlements. Their society is divided into a caste system consisting of four main types. Fimmer are rumored to be part human and part demon, the former being seemingly more present as Fimmer breed and upkeep their numbers by raping human females. Also, this is largely the reason for the disappearance of Fimmers within Games Workshop. Production was discontinued due to the subject matter not being suitable for the age group being marketed to. And what a shame! Dark Elves are still out there, Chaos is still out there, and they exercise practices much worse. Fimmer females are in fact very rare and lead each clan. Though one female per clan is enough for a colony, Fimmer females are born infertile. These powerful magic-wielding hags are known as the Mirror. Fimmers most likely worship greater demon type and do practice monthly highly respected sacrifices held with rather calm dignity. Now back to discussing Fim Warriors specifically. Fim Warriors, while at the bottom stages of the hierarchy ladder, band together into groups known as Septs, which usually form under common parentage lines. These Septs are grouped by a Flaithmore, which is the mightiest of the Fianna Fim, or basically the warrior elite hero, and ruled by a mirror. It is these Fim that are the most common at the battlefronts, who oversee the slaves and who propagate the species. Fim warriors are led by Fin Fian, which are captain sorts, and serve a specific noble that they may have been fathered by, or may have elected to follow after he beat a rival in combat, or by subterfuge, in other words, deceptive craftiness. It is hardly possible for a Fim warrior to rise to a position of noble, but if this should indeed happen, a hormonal process takes place that sprouts horns out of that club tail. This has been compared to the color change on a silverback gorilla. Alright, now let's take a look at what creatures Fim warriors are comparable to. Well, frankly, there's not much really. Fimmers are very unique. They are not goblinoid, they are not related to orcs, nor reptilians or reptoids. They have demonic blood which is attuned to the mists that they create. But just for generalized fun, we can compare them to orcs, demon type, certain smaller cyclops or cyclopses, lizard men, certain types of trolls, and some ogren type. Now here we are to the great from 1 to 10 power level that we use in the other series. Yes, we'll continue using that power level scale within these series as well. So 1 being equivalent of an ant, 5 being equivalent of a giant, and 10 equivalent of an all-knowing great being, such as I. I would have to place the Fim Warrior... What? Oh yeah, yeah, what do you know? What do you know? I would place the Fim Warrior at a 3. Not quite ready to take on an ogre, but as you know, such underdog fights can prove quite surprising. A good fight for any common human warrior nonetheless. Alright, and now time for something completely new on this channel, and that is points for creativity. And that's basically a scoring on how awesome the creature concept is. Five being the best, and one being the lowest. Well, the Fim Warrior being the first in this series, you must imagine it scored quite decently. But what I want to do here is score the Fimmer race as a whole, and the Fim Warrior separately. 
since this video is more or less about the Fimmer race itself, but again more focused on the Fim Warrior. I give the Fimmer as a race concept itself a 3 out of 5. It completely unrelates with any other creature except the demon and was meant to be completely original to Warhammer, a sort of representative of that branch of Games Workshops. And for that specific Fimmer type, the Fim Warrior, what do I give? I give a... also a 3 out of 5. The whole club tail becoming spiked in this hierarchy rising system being hormonally tied in with the, the Fimmer's anatomy, sort of like a Fimmer becoming a permanent Super Saiyan within a species. I think that's a totally awesome idea. So yes, I believe the Fin Warrior does indeed deserve at least a 3 out of 5, if not more. So there you have it, folks. The Fimmer. Fim Warriors. Please tell me what tabletop creature in this series would you like me to discuss next? If you like, I can cover another Fimmer type, another specific Fimmer type, or a totally different creature from another type of tabletop game, or even a specific name type of creature from another game. It's all up to you. We make this channel together. We are a community here. Please be sure to follow us also on Facebook, now also on Instagram, doing short clips and pics to keep you guys in the know, as well as featuring more personal aspects from my life that I won't be including on this channel itself. And of course, remember to comment down below, let me know what you think of this series, this video, leave us a like if you did indeed enjoy it, and if you haven't yet, do subscribe, and until next time, this has been Monster Master! Monster Master. Alright, cheers everybody, let's get around of drinks here, I am done!